canine parvovirus is a highly contagious virus. It is spread by dog-to-dog -dog contact and by contact with contaminated kennel surfaces, food and water bowls, collars and leashes, and the hands and clothing of people who handle infected dogs. The virus can affect all dogs, but unvaccinated dogs and puppies are the most at risk for this often fatal disease. Most commonly, it produces clinical signs due to infection of the gastrointestinal tract. Parvovirus enters a cell by binding to a viral protein receptor on the surface of a cell. Infected dogs then produce vast numbers of viruses that are highly resistant to environmental decontamination. Treatment should begin immediately. Intensive care to combat dehydration and control vomiting and diarrhea. Dogs must be in isolation to avoid transferring infection to other dogs. Outbreaks of canine parvovirus continue to occur, even though effective vaccines are part of any core vaccination program. Dogs that recover from disease or are protected through vaccination have an immune response that produces antibodies that inactivate viruses. Recognition of the potential for antibody treatment stimulated the Lanco scientists to work on a therapy to help save dogs' lives. A new paradigm based on antibodies targeted monoclonal antibodies could offer improved outcomes. In human medicine, about half the drugs being developed are based on monoclonal antibodies. This market has experienced explosive growth. It was hoped that if produced in large amounts, an injection of monoclonal antibodies would offer an immediate high level of defense against parvovirus. The goal would be to design and produce monoclonal antibodies that would bind to a specific viral protein. The antibody-bound virus would then be unable to attach or gain entry to cells. Elanco's canine parvovirus monoclonal antibody is made in several steps. DNA encoding the antibody is composed of a dog constant region and rat variable region, termed a chimeric antibody, as it is composed of antibody segments from two different species. DNA encoding the parvovirus antibody is added to special cells that generate monoclonal antibodies. The monoclonal antibody is selectively removed from the cells and all other proteins and materials are washed away, leaving the highly purified canine parvovirus monoclonal antibody. These antibodies are concentrated into a liquid solution and frozen for distribution to treat animal disease. The solution containing these parvovirus monoclonal antibodies is frozen for storage and distribution to veterinary clinics, where the product must be stored frozen at less than or equal to negative 15 degrees Celsius, or 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Once thawed, the K9 parvovirus monoclonal antibody is administered intravenously at a dose of 0.2 milliliters per kilogram, or 2.2 pounds, of the dog's body weight, once diagnosis is confirmed. Canine parvovirus monoclonal antibody binds to the canine parvovirus, inhibiting it from entering into the host cell. There are other hypothesized mechanisms of actions, including aggregation and sequestration of virus particles, destabilization of the virus, and phagocytosis of virus by innate immune effector cells. This product has been shown to be effective for the treatment of dogs eight weeks of age or older against mortality caused by canine parvovirus. Note that because this monoclonal antibody inactivates parvovirus when used as a therapeutic treatment, it may interfere with subsequent parvovirus vaccination. This targeted monoclonal antibody treatment allows you to take charge of the virus and quickly get that puppy back home to his family. Because every puppy deserves the chance to become a happy, healthy dog.